Okay. Do I need to pay attention to food if my goal is strength? Yes, because you want to make sure that you're eating enough and you're eating enough protein. And also you want to make sure like you can't just be eating. I'm not saying that you're just eating junk food, but proper nutrition is really important regardless of what your goal is, because you want to make sure that you're eating enough nutrients to fuel yourself. Because if you're just eating, like you might be eating enough calories and enough protein, but if it's just kind of junk food, then you're not going to feel very good. And it's not like you're, you're just gonna, you're gonna feel shit. So it's really important regardless of what your goal is to focus on nutritious foods. Obviously you can, you know, eat other stuff as well. I like to follow like an 80, 20 goal where 80%, um, 80% of the time I'm eating like whole foods and nutritious foods. And 20% of the time I'm just eating like whatever I feel like. Can I work out without eating carbs? Like a keto cut. Um, I mean, you can technically do anything, but you'll feel like absolute shit to be honest. It's push, pull, legs process. Usually they do full day of legs, but yeah, splitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can, you can do full legs. I just personally prefer to split it out so I can really like focus on the muscle groups I'm targeting. Best value for money, easy protein. Look, I've never tried a cheap protein that I think tastes good. So I couldn't really give you any recommendations because I really feel like the cheap ones just taste nasty, to be honest. Recommendations on bad bloating. Um, I wouldn't really be able to give you an answer to that because maybe you're intolerant to something. Like it's not, it's really important to know that it's not normal to feel uncomfortably bloated all the time. And like every time you eat, that's not normal. It's normal to be like bloated, I guess, around that time of the month or, you know, just here and there to a mild extent, but if you're really, really bloated and it's really bothering you, it's highly likely that you're intolerant to something and you didn't know. So I would recommend probably going to the doctor and getting it sussed out. Um, the other thing I would recommend doing is making sure you're having enough probiotics. So I think things like, obviously you can take a probiotics tablet, um, but things like Greek yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, um, miso even, um, and also just enough like fruit and veg, like your gut health is so important. Best low calorie protein shake. Um, I'm not sure. To be honest, I don't really think any protein shakes are that high calorie. I'm going to recommend EHP Labs OxyWay. I don't know if it's the lowest calorie one on the market, but I would recommend it. Thoughts on creatine. Um, creatine is great. I take it. Um, the only thing is don't expect like magic before and after results. Like some people claim all it does is it hydrates the muscle and it helps with strength and recovery. It doesn't give you like magic gains or anything. And also make sure you're drinking enough water. My belly fat is annoying me so much, but I cannot eat in a deficit to save my life. I hate being in a deficit. I totally agree with you. I'm not going to lie. It's the worst. Some people find it so easy, but I love food. So what pre-workout can I use that won't make me feel pins and needles? So that the ingredient that makes you feel like you have pins and needles is called beta alanine. So you want to look for a pre-workout that doesn't have that. Um, for me, I take oxy shred because it doesn't have that and it tastes good. What do you eat? Kimchi, all those things you named with. Um, so like a Greek yogurt, I have that like every day with like berries, maybe wheat bix um, kimchi, like you can just have it on its own or you can have it with like rice and meat. Um, miso, I literally just make it a soup, but yeah, you can totally take probiotic vitamins as well. I hate beta alanine. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I hate the feeling. Oh. <sighs> All right, guys, I need to get into the work day. So I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you guys all have a good day. I am also um, on Thursdays. Thursday is like my Q&A day. Like I do a Q&A on my Instagram as well. So if you've still got other questions, head over to my Instagram and ask me there and I'll be kind of answering those throughout the day. Um, just because I don't know why. I just like doing this. I like just answering people's questions. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Bye.